Welcome to Even MVPs Hunt for Events. Do they use the event recorder? Hey, I'm Eric, and um, I did a very scientific uh, survey here in this house, and I queried every single MVP and asked, do you ever you know, search and hunt for events? Uh, and, um, and everybody replied, yeah, I do. And then the follow-up question was, but do you use the event recorder? And, and you know, it was 50-50. Um, so I thought I better do a video on the event recorder because it's pretty cool. And um, let, let, me, let me show you how that works. Um, so let's say you're somewhere here and, and you know you, you, you need to do something uh, when, like, when somebody types in, in the name. But, you know, is it on a code unit? Is it on a tape? Where is the event that you need? Or maybe if, if it's when you're, like, maybe it's a, a better. Let's actually type in this one. Let's go to a sales order. Um, and uh, let's see if we have a sales order that is open. We do. So you want to do something on release. But, but where is that? Is it on the page? Is it somewhere else? This is where you can grab the event recorder. And the event recorder is simply sitting here, just waiting for you to actually go and use it. And the way I use it is that I open the event recorder and then I use the, the tear out. Uh, so I get the event recorder in its own window, uh, but still connected to my session here. So when you, when you do the tear out, uh, this is still part of this session. This is not a different session. Uh, if we just opened another tab, that would be a different session, uh, potentially. So I will go here and then I'll say start. Do you want to start recording? Sure. And then nothing happens, but I can go back here and then I can say release. And this one is released. Nothing different here either. This is just as normal, but, and this one is still empty when you go back to it, uh, but let's actually make it just slightly bigger. But as soon as I say, stop the event recorder, and it says 170 events has been recorded. Wow, that's a lot. Do you want to display them? Sure. Um, and, and then you get this weird key here. You can see everything is in the key. So if you start by um, sorting it by call order, then, then we can actually see what is happening. And you know, 170 events, that's a lot. Some of them, you know, really is not what we're looking for. So we can, we can let's, let's see what's happening here. Um, so we have different objects. So clearly the sales order list and sales order, that's where we start. Um, on after get record. Um, we get something in the release sales document. That's So that's probably actually on before perform manual release procedure. On before manual release sales doc and so on. Um, and then it goes down to the lines and we check all sorts of things. We go into the sales lines and tax calculations and sales, more tax calculation in this case. Uh, we hit some global triggers uh, to see if there are any global triggers, I guess, CRM integration. Um, more sales tax, so there's tons of stuff going on here. Um, and, 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 and this is perhaps where it can be slightly intimidating because there's so much going on, but we can see at some point on after manual release doc and on after action release. So now at 148, we're actually out of the action again. So now we're just on after get record. We're now we're just updating the, uh, the, the sales order list again. Uh, so everything after 148 can be ignored because that's not actually the process we're looking at. Um, 
and and maybe maybe I actually just want to add in an extra check that you cannot release on a Sunday because you should never release orders on a Sunday. So so on before release sales doc that seems like a reasonable place to add an event. Um, so how? But that's fine. But but we can actually do better. So if I scroll right here. We, we can see that, okay, this is in the release sales document code unit. Um, but there is like this little thing here, gay AL snippet. So if I click on that, I get a piece of text. So I can now grab this piece of text and then I can go into my Visual Studio code here. Let's make that. And then I can write a code unit. Let's do like this. Oh, how about demo? Let me paste this in, format this nicely. So we got an event subscriber on the right event. So what we don't get, and this is, so so here's what I usually do. That the, the procedure here, I typically name my procedure the same as the event. And then if you go into the parentheses, which are always blank in this case, and I have hit uh, control shift space. Hopefully I can hit control shift space. I can hit control space, apparently. Now I see what parameters there are actually on this event. And, and one thing to note, so in this case, there are four parameters. Let's say you only need the cell setter then you don't have to add any other parameters. Uh, but maybe you also need the uh, preview mode. Um, so you add then, and, and even though that's not, if we go here and hit F12 on the text, you see it, it actually takes us to, uh, to the events and we use the sales header, preview, is handle, skip. Uh, but the order here doesn't matter. So you, you can you can go crazy and and as long as as you have the parameters you need that's all you do so now we could do let's say that if preview mode then we don't care how about that um but then we can say that if sales header dot posting date then let's do a uh, D day to D W Y and we pass in a date and then we say that the week of date Monday so, so if this is on a Sunday then error no posting dates on a Sunday Sunday Sunday, <laughs> there we go. Um, and let's uh, let's actually apply this thing. See if it works. Sales orders, and we better go in. Ah, oh, this was the one we released. Uh, we can reopen it and then we can say that posting date is today which is supposedly a Sunday I have done some weird thing can you see that there's a dot behind uh, the dates ah I have told myself that I'm in Croatia is that really right? You have a dot after the year in Croatia. Some of my Croatian viewers, let me know in the comments below. That was a, uh, eh, I'll roll with it. Go Croatia. Um, so let's release this. I think we hit a break point. We'll just F5 that one, two. So. There we go. So now we added in a, uh, an event because we need to do something on release. So we're not allowing to release. Um, so that is the, uh, 
That's the event recorder. And the the only you know, the, the only place where this can get complicated is that now I just you know, honed in and said, on before release sales doc. That sounds like the, what I need to do um, is to you know sort through the uh, the vast information, uh, vast amounts of information we get here. Uh, and but typically you can very quickly uh, quickly find the ones you you want to. And and I use a very very stupid trick. And, and and the trick goes like this that the the shorter the name of the event the more likely it is that it's fairly high level you know uh, on code on after calc should set status prepayment that sounds like that's pretty deep somehow uh, on before set sell sort of well no, that's on sell on let's let's actually Let's do a, a filter and say we are. We know we have to be in the release cell stock code unit, um, and then suddenly you can see on on perform manual release on before sales test sales prepayment. Well, on before release seems like a good place, or uh, you know that was a short one. That's probably that one. Uh, on before on run so how can you ever run before on run that's actually interesting i want to see that one so and 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 what you will discover uh, is that not every event is named so it makes oops a lot of sense in the name uh so on before on run. So there's a trigger called on run. So this is before run. So it's really not on before run, but the first. Yeah, anyway, I'm I maybe just splitting hairs here at this point. So instead of me doing that, then let's make a deal. You make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Let me know if you uh, enjoy using the event recorder as you know, at least half of the MVPs on this uh, uh, in this house did. Um, and if you need more ale hacking, check out this video. It's a good one. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.